Asia got extensions, hair extensions last week. She got the sewn-in type. You know, where you have, you know, there's all different kinds of uh, extensions. But let's see if we can get in here. Do you see here how there's a track of hair? So basically there's a braid, a French braid, a very tight one called a cornrow on her hair, her own hair. And then we've got wefts of hair that are sewn onto it. When you do a track of extensions, of course, you're going to braid the client's hair, a really tight French braid called a cornrow, and then you're going to sew the extension on it. But So you'll take her natural hair and you'll make um, a straight across line of a French braid. Then you'll skip a little bit of hair and you'll do another track. They're called tracks. Mm -hmm. Then you skip some hair and you do another track and you do it all on the client's head. You guys have seen it. You know what I'm talking about. And then you sew the extensions on. But when you're cutting extensions, especially if you're going to layer extensions, there's a different method than just somebody's natural hair. Because what happens is, I'm going to I'm gonna trim her uh, extensions. She wants to cut about that much off from the length, and I'm going to put some layers in. But the, the key is, you don't elevate extensions when you cut them like we do on a re regular haircut. Because what will happen here is, if I took the hair that was sewn onto this track, and I elevate and I cut it. Then I take this hair and I elevate and I cut it. Let's say we're doing a one eight. Then when it falls down, then when it falls down, this is going to fall down and fall here. Then this one, let's say there was an inch gap between the two. Then that one is going to fall down an inch longer. And this one is going to fall down an inch, for example. I just use an inch as an example, longer. And so I'm going to have steps in her haircut. It's not going to blend. On a regular client, we have hair that grows from this section and this section and that section, you know, right one after the other. So when they fall, they fall one after the other, and there's no steps. It's gradual. But because I am cutting these strands, not really her hair that's in between, because her hair in between is shorter. So I'm not really cutting that at all. I'm cutting just the extension. So you don't elevate up to give layers. I'll show you. I will elevate, but I'll elevate out. The other thing we're going to do on Asia is um, cut it dry because I want to see what her hair is going to look like when it's dry. Can you see the length of her hair? If it comes to you with hair this long, you want them to stand up so you can see the back because I can't, with the back of the chair, I'm going to have to elevate and I can't really see the back. So yeah, Asia's going to stand up. I move the chair in so don't sit. And you want it how much? Show me. You always want to ask them, show me. Don't tell me two inches because to her, two inches might be like this and to me, two inches might be like this. So, okay, so she's showing me. Can I see the comb? I could use my comb as a guide to help me. Look at it's about the length of the comb. So that helps me. And again, I'm, I am doing it dry. Okay, so when you do a zero, if her hair is, if her head is straight and I cut a zero, then every time she moves her head, you guys are going to see cut lines. You know, at the at the bottom. But if I ask her to tilt her head away from me, then this top layer of of zero is going to be longer than this strand. These strands of hair at the nape, they'll be a little bit longer. So then, when she puts her head straight, this surface is going to cover all the cut lines that are underneath, and so it'll look nicer. Especially if you're doing a true bob or a, you know something that has to be a, a good line, like um, like when we did the A lines. You want a thick, nice, clean line. And certain hair types show you every cut line. It's so hard to blend. So this is a good trick. Just tilt the head away from you. And I like to start in the middle. Because when I establish my guide in the middle, then I have a shorter distance to go to here and to here. If I start my guide on one side, I have a longer distance. So I might bend my finger one way or the other. It might come out crooked. So when you're doing the zero, it's okay uh, on extensions or regular hair, you're doing it the same way. Okay, so I'm going to cut about that much off for now. Now, she doesn't, it's pretty thick, but it's not so, so thick that it looks fake. Look at the ends. Can you turn around a little bit more? See the ends, how soft they fall? Yeah. It's not a blunt, fake. Have you seen extensions where they're really thick and then they just stop really, really thick? 
if I'm cutting extensions and it's thicker hair than this, or she has more tracks where it's a lot of hair laying here, I might point cut the whole bottom so it, so it falls softer, so it looks more real. I didn't ask you what shape you want. This is the wire for the wire. Um, no, we're going to have the layers, so should we go a little short on the side, like a U? Yeah. Okay. So. Um. So I've cut this side, now I want to match up the other side. Before I just go and cut the other side, I'm going to take a guide from this side and match it up to the other side. That way I know where I'm going from and I'll know where I'm going to. You never want to just start, because I made this side, I didn't have a going to guide yet. I was in there trying to see what I needed to do. But now I know where this guide is. I'm going to take a piece on this side, bring them both to the center, and give myself a little snip on that side. That way I know how to angle my finger from here to there, you know, to connect. And the whole time her head is down. If I can't hold all this hair to connect this guide to this guide, I can certainly point my finger to the right direction. So if I have, here's my guide here. If I take my fingers and I hold them straight across mm -hmm. and I cut, I'm going to have a hard time yeah. blending here. Yeah. I can't hold all that hair, but I could definitely point my fingers in the right direction. That way eventually I'm going to get to the right goal. I don't make a step in that haircut. So that's another thing too. Don't just focus on what you're doing. Focus on where you're going. I'm going here. So I'll point my fingertip to that point too. So again, I want to step back and take a look. Okay, so before I start, I think I'm going to start on her hair first. So I'm going to switch. I'm going to use my thinning shears instead because I don't really want to shorten her hair. I just want to blend it. So um, that's another question on the state board. It says, um, what are the thinning shears used for? They're for reducing bulk without shortening the hair, without re reducing length. And that's my goal here. I want to make this less bulky. Look when I lift it up, or let's say I let a little bit of her hair down. It blends, right? But when I have all this bulk there, it doesn't blend. So um, I'm going to take her hair. I'm going to lift it up. Remember how I told you there's going to be like a triangle that falls? If this falls at a zero, the longest point is this point right here. I want to take that triangle off right there. So I'm going to point cut. And I want it to blend from short to longer. So my shear, my thinning shear, is pointing this way. So I can just um, get it to go sh short, longer, 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 longer. So I would just pick it up, and if there's a point there, take care of it. You can kind of see a guide right there. Can you see the shorter piece right here? Mm -hmm. That's my guide from the first section that I just created. So I'll take and I'll just point cut. I could have used my regular shears, but that would have given me blunter lines, if that's a word, blunter, more blunt lines. <laughs> but this way it's going to give me softer lines. And she had bleach in her hair before, so her ends are a little, little bit damaged. So this thinning shear, cutting with the thinning shear, will remove a lot of the damage without really removing much length. You see on this side it kind of blends okay. I don't have to do too, too much. So don't do it unless you have to. Maybe I'll do a little bit right here, and then I think I'm done with this side. I don't want to cut the extension yet. Okay, can you kind of see the difference between the two sides, the one that was blended? So if she said, I don't want layers, 
if she doesn't want layers, and sometimes they'll come to you and say, I don't want to cut this extension. I just bought it for so much hair. And you have to be careful, too, because they did spend a lot of hair on their money, on their hair. <laughs> did I just say? A lot of hair on their money. <laughs> a lot of money on their hair. And I don't want to cut it off and make a mistake. You know, that's a lot of money. So, um, so do you see the difference between thinning and not? So if she said to me, I don't want my extensions cut at all, then I have to blend it by cutting her hair. If she says, I don't want you to cut my hair at all, then I'm going to cut more of the extension. But she allowed me to do both, to cut a little of her hair and to cut a little bit of the extension. So I just kind of see where the blunt line is. You guys can see it. I'll just see where the bluntness is and just pick it right up. Oh, wow, this looks so much better already. If she told me I don't want to cut my um, extensions, then it's fine. I don't know much about how much extensions she wants, but she did say it was kind of thin, but I don't feel it thin at all. How long or how short do you want them to go from your length down? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I asked her, does she want them to go from there on down? She said yes. If she says no, then there might be a little bit of a difference from where the layers start, and I might have to thin her hair more. But if she said yes, do it from my from my length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section and I am going to elevate somewhat. I'm holding it straight out and I'm going to, do you see her length right here? Mm -hmm. So that's my guide. I'm basically going to skim off the top. So I'm not really elevating and cutting because that's going to lay down and give me steps. But I am kind of lifting it out. So when I lift out, I start in the middle and I lift out, I don't want to cut her length. Yeah. So I'll drop my zero. Mm -hmm. And I'll make sure that I drop enough of a zero to give me a solid line here. If I dropped, um, let's say, this much, I don't know if that's enough of a zero to drop. Because if I layer, I might make it too thin, yeah. So I want to drop enough. And I already cut her hair too, so I'm not cutting her hair but I'm cutting everything in between. I'm skimming off the top. So I will hold it straight out. There is my, there is her hair right there. And I'm gonna let it fall. And notice my shears are not this way. I'm just going this way. That's the action of my shear. And I'm opening and closing gently, 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 headed back, not down. And just let the hair fall. So I cut but um, not too much, and I'm just uh, trying to layer. So let's check that piece again and make sure that I cut enough. Because when I let it down, I didn't see that it looked really layered. So we can get away with doing a little bit more. And I do want to start right where her hair falls. Because if I skip a little and then start, I'm going to have that difference. So I definitely want to start right there, especially since she allowed me to. Because layers are not going to show up underneath. The layers are going to show up on the top surface. So I'm a little more aggressive on the top surface. So there's where I stopped that one last section. Keeping in mind this is expensive hair. And let's see what happens. Okay, that might be good. You, uh, she bought hair that has a little wave pattern in it. That's why we kind of did it dry, too, because we want to see how it's going to look when it's dry. It might be okay like this. I'm going to do this side and see the difference between this side and that side, if that's enough. So technically, there's really no guideline, right? No, there is. Her length was well, her length. one guide. Mm -hmm. And then I established, right now, that was my first section. So I established the guide. And now I'm going to use that guide for this section and this section and this section. This. Okay, so there's her length. And if I look, I could see some of my uh, guide from the center section. I dropped too fast. It fell out of my fingers too fast, so I need to pick it up again and double check. So her question was, how much do I drop? Mm. You don't know. You drop and you see, yeah, like here. Okay, I dropped right here. That's too thin right there. So maybe I'll drop more. So you take each section and you decide what you're going to do with that section. So as long as it's not, I guess, 
in layman's terms, like it's as long as it's not see through. Yes, it's exactly. But you know, it all depends on what look they're looking for. That's if true. they wanted like a Joan Jet kind of real texturized PC, you know, cut, then yeah, go all the way down. Because it would depend on what kind of style they wanted. But Aja mentioned, you know, she's mentioned to me one word. She didn't even know she was telling me. I mean, she didn't know how I was going to take it. But she said, it's kind of thin. Right when she said that to me, that told me that she's a bit concerned with that. That she likes it thick. Even though she didn't say, I like it thick, it's too thin. She just said, it's kind of thin. Okay, that means that's something she's concerned about. I don't want to over layer. Because it's going to make it thinner. And she mentioned that to me. So what my thumb is doing, it's doing this and it's sliding. So I'm doing it this way. Yeah, I don't think you guys could see that slither where you just leave it open and you just slide. If I had my razor, I could do it with a razor too. Let's imagine that this was my razor. I could just go and just skim right on top. But sometimes, depending on the quality of hair, uh, you know when you ribbon... Uh, when you take scissors and at Christmas time you ribbon the paper mm -hmm. or the ribbon paper, whatever you call it. To curl, curl the ribbon. Curl the ribbon. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> curl the ribbon. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, it tweaks, right? It yeah. curls up. Sometimes if the hair quality is not good and you just keep it open and you do that, it kind of tweaks the end too and it goes, it, it kinks. Yeah. <laughs> it gets curly. So that's why I like to open and close rather than just leave it open and slide cut. regular hair was an A cut so the front layers are longer than the back layers. Mm -hmm. Do you notice here that this is uh, shorter than these layers here? Mm -hmm. Because that's the cut she had. So I have to make sure that it blends okay. You see here how it's a little bit, uh, I don't like the way this part is not blending so so well. Mm -hmm. And then she's got the shorter bang. Are you growing mm -hmm. your bangs out? So because I want to remove bulk, not length, this part here is bulk. I don't want to remove the length, I just want to remove some of the bulk. So I want to make sure I have my thinning shears. So Ms. Mahal, how long does my, um, can I take the extensions out for my bobs to the company? Yeah, I didn't, um, you know how I told them your layers in the front are longer than the layers in the back? I kept it that way. I'm just trying to blend the layers to the back. You want to keep the, the bob. See, that's a good question, too. What, what happens when she takes out her extensions? Is it going to be, um, is her haircut still going to be there, her style? Okay, so one side is done. It's not curled or anything, but I think, do you want to see it, Asia, before I cut the other side to see the higher cut? And then she said, you know what, go another, a little bit shorter. Then I have to do the whole thing over again. So this way, do half of it, show them, they can compare to, it's, it's easy to compare and to see the difference rather than to do the whole thing and then for them to realize if it's short enough or not. So the comparison is good. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, obviously. Now this side was her, she has a side part and this is her heavy side. So it was a little bit more work. Mm. This side is going to be less work. And I'm right handed. So I am, my right hand is where her hair, watch, I'm going to do this. But watch if I stand on this side and I pick it up. How am I going to go from her length out? I'm going to have to switch this way. And so because I'm right handed, it's more comfortable for me to be on this side. Then I could just go with it. Yeah. So your positioning is important putting down my thinning shears, I'm grabbing my regular shears, and really focus on that, because I've done it myself, where I think I pick up my thinning shear, and I pick up the regular one, and I go right in. So you have to really, um, when you're working with the two, focus on that, and make sure you're picking up what you really mean to pick up.
There's my guide. Her length. And you let the hair fall away from you. Don't worry, because you don't want to cut that anyway. I'm looking at the very bottom, too, to make sure that I'm not overcutting. Oh, you know how she said, you know how we talked about her front? Uh, oh, look at this part. Let me show you. Look, I dropped this much hair. That's all her natural hair. Nothing here yet. Imagine if I layer all this. I'll cut a hole right in the middle, right in the bottom if I don't drop enough. And look how high I am. But that's because that's the positioning of the tracks. You gotta go with it. So I've gotta drop much higher than I did in the other sections, which is fine. There it is, I dropped it. And that means now I'm only gonna layer just these strands of hair, nothing more. There's her guide. And I'm being less aggressive on this section. And not everything has to measure perfect. I want it to look good, not measure good. Obviously, she has more tracks in the back than she's going to have on the side because there's less room to put tracks here. So I can't do everything I did in the back exactly the same as I did in the side because I've got a different situation going on over here. So if I have to pick up my thinning shears and be more aggressive with thinning shears, less aggressive with regular shears, I'm going to do that because what I'm saying is this is thinner hair, this is thicker hair. This I need to thin more, this I need to thin less but I've got to let it look like it blends all the way. I want it to look even all the way around, but it doesn't have to measure even. A good haircut is one where the hair looks good. I don't know if you noticed, that side I did a lot less layering. And even right here, it feels heavier than here. So I might just go a little bit more right here to make it blend with the other side. So after you do your initial haircut, then you're going to stand back and take a look at the hair. You might even have the client, st or you, style the hair, and then do your finish it up. Uh, you know, touch it up however you need to, because um, you want it to look good again. Okay, so now these. Can I, can I work on these a little bit? Thing is, do you see how it's, it's falling? What I want to do is, I'm not going to pick up the weight line itself. But I'm going to pick up everything above it. And I'm going to point cut the ends. That way I'm not really cutting her length. But I am. How are you using the thinning shears? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> of just course I am. Just, oh. <laughs> yeah, thinning shears. <clears throat> thinning shears because I don't. I, all I want to do is just soften the way it falls. I don't want it all to fall at the end. Although hers was texturized already, but I just kind of brought it up a little bit. It'll let it feel better without shortening it too much. Now here on the ends, I'm going to point cut with my thinning shears so I can get some of those damaged ends off. And you want to look and see, like this section here doesn't need a lot of thinning. This section's a little thicker, this section's a little thicker. Maybe I'll do a little bit more right here and then that's it. So you don't need to thin evenly, you got to thin where it needs it. close and slide and do the same thing this way open and close and slide I'm not when you do the perimeter you're not going to bring hair from here to here and then do the perimeter because that's going to give you layers I mean unless that's what you want I already did her layers so all I'm going to do is let the hair fall how it's going to fall it's going to fall this way it's going to fall to the side I'm not going to pull it forward and cut it because when it falls it's going to fall different so I'm going to let it fall where it wants to and Use her length and just go from there. Open and close, open and close as I slide down. And my shear is pointing down, not pointing back. Keep doing it till the hair falls out. So I cut quite a bit of hair. And when it's styled, I think it'll look okay. There's a little bit more connection, blending there. Same with this side now, because I am right-handed, I have no choice but to do this and open and close and slide down. The other time I had a choice of my positioning, but I can't really stand on that side and whisk this, so 
for me to be uncomfortable for a minute is okay. My guide is her length. I go this way, open and close. Shears are pointed down. I'm not closing my shear all the way. I'm just slightly closing it and sliding my left hand and the right hand is following it. Here's her bang, her length. I have my thinning shears. I want to thin. So I'm just going in, and I'm now I'm thinning. So it'll blend better. Stand up and show them and see what it looks like when you're standing. Maybe there's a little bit right here in the middle. Something right there. But let's see overall. I think it's going to be okay. I just want to thin that one, her hair in that one little section. Do you see where I'm looking? What I see right here? Can I put my head down? No, you're good. Okay. Blended well. I don't want to do too much because remember she is concerned about her length too. I think that's okay. I think when yeah. it's styled, it's going to be okay. Looks great. You're very welcome. Thank you. This was a good uh, opportunity for us because really uh, somebody and you have to look and see, make sure they don't have extensions. You know, it's a different haircut completely than if that was her natural hair all the way through. Thank you. You want to stop it? Are you guys going to style it later? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll be able to see it.